Hey guys, this is Ian from ENFJ, and today with me I have Chantel. Um, so Hello. first question, what is your type? Um, I'm an INFP. Yep. Yes. Um, what are you primarily interested in? Um, music, books, films, um, nutrition, the environment, yeah, things like that. Cool. So like, um, so you like like helping stuff kind of like... <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Like you're like um, <laughs> making a difference with things. You know? Yeah. Hashtag yeah. very yeah. end. Yeah. Um, how do you relate <laughs> to your temperament? Um, yeah, being an NF, I am very emotional, very, and I find like you know I am well NFs idealistic in how we search for meaning and purpose in life and meaningful conversations and how we're always focused on the future and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What what got you interested in MBTI? You did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but like, um, what spurred your interest in it? Like, what what got you hooked? I guess. Um. Good question. I don't know. I just I like the fact that when I found out more about it, that I, I found more about myself and like how um, why I act the way I do and like who I am. And mm -hmm. with other people, it helped me understand them a lot more and why you know friendships were working and why some you know were a bit harder and yeah things like that. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um. Uh. How has MBGI impacted your life? Oh, well, kind of repeats that. Um, yeah. That's right. So yeah, it's, same thing. Yeah. It's just helped you understand people it, and friendships and stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's helped me understand myself and other people and their behaviours and things like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like social dynamics and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, show an object to the camera. Okay. Um, yeah, this is my iPod. Um, I showed this, I guess, because, yeah, I love music and I find that, you know, being an INFP, that I struggle to express my emotions and feelings and I find that, yeah, music is an outlet to that. Um, that... Yeah, I struggle to, you know, tell people how I feel and things, but like music, it, it kind of, like, it just makes sense. Mm. It just, I don't know, it just does. <laughs> like it, it puts, like, your <laughs> thoughts into words sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. It expresses things that words can't. So. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, what are the biggest misconceptions about INFPs? Oh, um, that we're illogical, naive, and weak. That um, that we're um, perceived as these touchy, feely kind of people. But being introverted, um, yeah, we we struggle to express our emotions, and um, that we you know we have our feelings. We can't express our feelings outwardly, and that. Um, mm, <laughs> INFPs being private people, I, I find that yeah we can deal with that emotional baggage, and I don't think you know that that doesn't make us weak. And yeah. like with illogical and naive, um, that you know we we love learning more about the world and finding purpose in life and wanting to make a difference. And in order to do that, you know we need to we need to know what's going on in society, like what the problems with this world, in order to be able to fix it. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, what are the limitations to your type? <laughs> um, that, um, well, for me personally, I can't um, handle conflict very well. In fact, yeah, mate, um, very like, I become very abrupt when two people are fighting, and I just become very irrational. And oh, it's just it's just terrible. And um, another thing that frustrates me is that 
I have all these intense emotions inside, but I can't, I just can't express them very well. Like people, they're like, oh, you know, what's wrong? Are you okay? And things, and I want to tell them, I want to, you know, be able to share that, but I just, I can't, I can't find the right words, and I don't, like, I can't, sum, like, summarize how I am feeling. It's just too, it's so frustrating. Mm. Do you find it easier to write them down? Yes. Actually, yes, yeah. that or it, music helps. Is it easier to write or just listen to music? Um, um, both simultaneously, like yeah, yeah, writing, like jotting things down, helps me a lot. Mm. Yeah, cool. And finally, what is your ultimate dream endeavor? Oh, okay. Um, I have this dream of becoming an optomet like an optometrist and eventually an ophthalmologist where I can go to third world countries and cure people with um, eye diseases and things like that. So hopefully, yeah, something like that. That I can yeah. make a difference. Yeah. yeah. And you can see like the NF like helpful idealism coming out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. All right. Cool as well. Thanks for being interviewed. See you guys later. All right, thank you.